problems in early childhood affect productivity in the later years. So sometimes it's good to address this when it's still very young. Paul Onapa, a social policy and development specialist from the Ministry of Gender, Labor and Social Development, is seen presenting a paper to stakeholders on social protection. <laughs> In each are details of which vulnerable groups qualify for the social protection mechanism in Uganda. They include 29% of children aged between 6 to 59 months that are currently stunted. Of them, 11% are underweight, while only 49% of children in their first year have received basic vaccinations. Up to 56% live in multidimensional poverty. Multidimensional poverty is a measure of poverty that looks at different facets of poverty, not only income poverty. Also, elderly persons above the age of 60 constitute 1.5 million people, which is 4.3% of the total population of Uganda. In Sub-Saharan Africa, Uganda is the lowest funder of social protection, while South Africa is the highest. While we have many people increasing to living longer, 45% of them live in poverty. And of all of these, only one in five have access to any form of credit. This is what has formed the basis for the quest to change the funding trend for the social protection aspect in Uganda. To present a paper to this effect has been renowned economist. Dr. Ezra Suruma. Income insecurity exists at all levels of Ugandan society and is a major source of widespread corruption. Workers in both the public and private sectors attempt to gain income security by any means possible. Suruma cites the example of Alaska and Norway that adopted a public private partnership in oil revenue management. He wants a similar move in Uganda for social protection funding. We are proposing that people vote on whether there should be a fund created so that a proportion of the oil is invested, is created and invested and the income that comes from that oil, the earnings from that oil, will go for social protection. Members of the Parliamentary Forum on Social Protection, among other stakeholders, agree with this proposal. For example, at the district level, there are limited legislation and guidelines to influence the management of social protection. But to what extent will this address the funding gaps in social protection. And we can use the oil money as a method, as a, as a, a way to access this uh, civilized state where all of us can be assured that at least we'll have food, at least we'll uh, have somewhere to, to sleep. This will meet the needs of orphans, the disabled, the unemployed, the aged, and the other economically vulnerable groups. Henry Okrut, UBC.